and yet all of a sudden you can have this unbelievably devastating Hello. effect from something you didn't even know you had. I can't believe this. So my my camera that I've had for ages, the one that I complain about constantly, kept flashing, it wouldn't work, it wouldn't let me take any photos, it wouldn't go up to the video, it would go three seconds on power when I plugged into a cable and then went off. Uh -huh. Hello everybody, hello my bad palms. So today is bank holiday Monday. I'm sitting in bed because I'm really, really cold and I can't be bothered getting up and having a fire. I thought the kids were coming over early to help me make a roast dinner, but it looks like that they're not. They're just going to wait till 7 o'clock tonight to come over, which is far too late for me to eat. So I'm just going to carry on making dinner and I'm going to make uh, Yorkshire puddings, uh, lamb, just peas and carrots and they love uh, mint sauce and wine gravy so I'm going to make that for them specially and then I'm just going to eat when I want to eat and put this away for warm because seven o'clock to me is like oh my hummy turt turts <laughs> it hurts because I haven't eaten anything and my camera is working and all I did was I put the battery into the fridge for a couple of days and I turned the, the SIM card around wow and it's working I feel so stupid how did I get the idea to put a battery into a fridge for a couple of days I'm not sure I think it's because like I know when you spill water onto like your phone and stuff when you've dropped it that you're meant to do that so hmm, that's a bit of a I, I just hope it stays on uh, I'm gonna take Aria for a walk because she's sitting here just like just Aria what's up Bubba oh you know <laughs> so she'll be happy later when we get hold of um, the meat and rip it apart uh, she's got a wee little fat belly she went away oh at start again I had um, pains in my heart if your heart's on the left hand side then I have pains in my heart or it could be just my lungs and it's happened since I've been on the Risperidone, but the Risperidone and the Venlafaxine together, my mental health is on par. It is amazing. I would recommend if anyone's on Venlafaxine to go on to Risperidone as well and the, the, the mixture of them both. Wow. I keep sitting down and trying to, I, I know I worry a lot and I'm quite paranoid a lot from uh, you know, just from being a kid, and um, it's that's come through all my life, and it's only just now that I'm not worrying about everything to do with today or tomorrow that I've started remembering my childhood, and I don't really like it. <laughs> I really don't like listening to myself, like dream of my childhood, and then wake up and remember like the end bits, you know. Um, I got my hair done and the reason I kept it curly is because um, she left the product on too long and it's burnt on my hair. So I'm having to leave it natural and oh my god this is natural. Uh, <laughs> so yeah it's just naturally a bush I'm afraid there's no rhyme or reason to it it's just the way it is and it, it doesn't look as bad when it's long but it, it looks bad when it's short um, uh, but I can't do anything about it it's not worth crying over so I'm just putting lots and lots of conditioner and moisturizer on it it's a hairdresser I don't normally go to I've been for a couple of times and each time it's been quite cheap but she's totally fucked up my hair uh, so 
that's life you kind of get what you fucking pay for don't you um, so obviously I'm a wee bit annoyed about it um, everything's got hairs over because the, the dog is molten Chihuahua's molten I never thought Chihuahua's malt actually but obviously they do so I'm going to go check the meat uh, this is my new Adidas top, hold on, let me take my my underneath away, because I kind of look pregnant. I always wrap my onesie around me when I come out of um, the shower, and then pull my top down over it. So this is the, the new uh, Adidas top. I've got a funny feeling that... Well, I know that um, one of the kids tried to get it, and I'm like, no, 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 no. Uh, I imagine the boy will try and get it when he gets home, but I've told him it's a woman's one, so he can't nick it because he'll look like a pussy. <laughs> There's so many, so many ways that you can embarrass kids into not taking your stuff, and that's one of them. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm having to do. Uh, what else? Oh, I'm really happy that um, Gary's got a girlfriend or a lady friend. I saw her. She's pretty. She's pretty. So he's happy. And, you know, his baby gets, you know, a mama too. Someone to play with. And then he goes back home to his mom. But it's it's nice. I like seeing, I like seeing his babies. Uh, what else? Um, he's off on on holidays quite a lot at the minute, so uh, the kids are on their own. So I'm kind of seeing the kids quite a bit, and especially uh, my girl. She's popping over and cuddling me a lot at the minute. She seems to love her mommy at the minute, and, and then that's a good thing, because you know in the past kind of eight years she's had abuse mental abuse a lot of mental abuse from her stepmom and she's coming right she just needs another year and and she'll be there but she's a beautiful wee soul very pretty she knows how to put her makeup on she knows how to get dressed up although sometimes i i don't understand uh, but I guess I'm not, I may be all up to date with the, the songs, I may be up to date with the clothes, and that's just because that's what I do. I, I love fashion, so um, I love my fashion, I don't have to wear theirs, but this is just happens to be what I like at the moment, is the sports stuff. And yeah, she comes over. She spends time with me, and we talk, and then she has a cuddle, and I used to do this thing where I, I get uh, my fist, and on their back, I when they were babies, I would do it really, really hard, and uh, they would fall asleep, and I've done that to her a couple of times over the last couple of weeks, but yeah, she's she's pretty amazing. I'm trying to think what I was thinking of and it was about the dress so the fashion sense is that she's spending a thousand dollars on her prom dress wow really what the flipping Norma wow and her boyfriend is spending over a grand on his suit Oh, Cromwell and Mice, it, 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 it's beyond comprehension to me. A thousand dollars can last me four weeks on every single thing that I need. And that would be lovely. But I don't get that. that there's no way I get that. So it'll be interesting how they're going to save up the money in like 15 weeks. Or any of the people, you know. But it's nice looking through the dresses. And I found that most of the dresses are quite revealing. 
and we went through some wedding dresses and the wedding dresses it, it, it looks like a bikini top with a puffy bit at the bottom and I'm like yeah but it's your wedding and she's going yeah exactly and I'm like yeah but it's your wedding <laughs> it's like when you watch that program um, say yes to the dress it's like yeah but it's your wedding and the, the, the woman's like but it's beautiful I don't care it's thirty three thousand dollars you know let's go up another ten grand and get this one yeah, for an extra little extra bit of um, fluffiness or sparkles you get what you pay for literally and at the end of the day if you get married in your back garden um, that reminds me I must get my veil back and my egg I loaned somebody a tie and my veils for their wedding in their back garden I still haven't got my veils back but the veils don't bother me she can keep the veils but the egg thing which is just like a polystyrene thing is really sentimental to me it's like because I when I got married it was at Easter and we found this egg thing um, with a tie on the top and we colored it gold and put the rings inside and my little boy then a long time ago kind of was walking up and the rings were inside and it, it was an amazing time but because I was so fucked up in the head because I wasn't on pills because I had no love and no care I didn't I didn't get it I I lost time because other people ruined my wedding but that's another story we will not get into that because it obviously upsets me today it will not upset me tomorrow or yesterday it was just today um so yeah I'm bored I don't want to stay in bed because I'm watching um, um, Dr G do her autopsies and this 50 year old guy walked up the stairs after carrying up the shopping and blood clots in his legs and died because the blood never got to the lungs so I'm like oh my god I'm sitting in bed all the time I need to move my ass and see if we can get out so I can get a bit of stimulation for this one so I'll switch you off and we'll catch up on the way I guess okay Let's go for a walk. So that was the kids on the phone. You're going to sit in the land. That was the kids on the phone. I'm crying, but I'm not crying. I'm, I'm just like, oh, whoa. We were going to go for a walk. Last time I spoke and I spoke to a mate and said I need I need um Aria to play with somebody like real bad. And I come over and they went, Yeah, I'll, I'll like text you when she's home. I like the dot. So I thought I'll go over and make sure grandpa's okay. Is we spirit all make it really hard to swallow. So okay, so I can't find the car keys. I get the alarm for the car, I get a key, and I'm like, sweet, okay, let's see if the key fits the car, and that's my spare al alarm that switches off. Not the bleep bleep, but just the one in for the engine. So open the door it opened so the alarm goes off goes to the the engine switch the the alarm off that goes off that's fine and then I get in the car with the bonnet up just to make sure that it's the key and I'm going to move the car so if it runs out of battery 
I can it's in the driveway. As I get into the car, pull the door, everything locks. <coughs> in put the key in. I always have to because it's a triple lock. I have to put my foot down on the clutch. Okay, leave it in to neutral, and then you switch your key on, and that's what starts the engine on. But when I put the key in and turned it, it wasn't the key for my car. So Kia's old key unlocks my car, but doesn't switch the engine on. So because the car thought that I was nicking the car, it locked all the fucking doors. And it's like 45 bloody degrees in there. It's on the lawn in the sun. I've got my sweatshirts on that I had on this morning and I'm like tripping out because my door's open. There's no one walking past. And I'm thinking, fuck, the dog is looking at me. <laughs> and I'm sweating and I'm dripping and I've got no phone to ring the fire service to and I'm thinking if I'm here much longer I'm gonna have to break the glass and I didn't want to break the glass so I'm thinking okay what's another way out so where the seats are on the back row there's like a bit that pulls down to partition it off but you can pull it down and go into the boot. So I popped the boot up and started. I had to take everything because the boot was packed, so I had to bring everything in from the boot. And then I had to slide through the small passageway. And the small passageway is kind of no bigger than that, maybe. And I had to climb through it. So of course my head gets through, my shoulders kind of got a wee bit stuck and I'm thinking no I can't do this I'm really going to get stuck. So I take my clothes, <laughs> I took my boots off and I took my clothes off. <laughs> oh fuck. And all I kept thinking is like my waist got through really really easy. <laughs> <sighs> but then it came to my ass and I mean I, I know some women who are fucking huge asses man and I've got a big floppy old ass but I'm glad that I've lost some weight because uh, somehow I could squeeze that fat ass and squeeze that fat one cheek at a time the thing was is when I got out of the boot <laughs> I got into the seat again and the back door could open not the front but the back one so now I'm wondering uh, what the hell I'm never ever going to leave a dog or a child or a little person or an old person or in fact anybody in a car ever again. Like when we've gone out I always put a timer on like for 8-9 minutes and that's how long I'll stay in the shop because I don't want my dog sitting is a little chihuahua actually. We'll go find her. Because when I came in, I'm just on the end of a bit of an attack, so 
I didn't look for the dog because I had to focus on the breathing and I didn't want to have an attack in the car so my lungs extremely sore at the moment the gates are out. Aria come here my babe she hasn't run away the whole time I was in the car she didn't run away come here sweetie that's a good girl Come on, that's a wee thing. You're clever. So yeah, there's no one about. Like it's Bank Holiday Monday, and there's. It's just absolutely silent. There's just no one. So, I guess in one way it's good that I know my car can't get broken into. You little shit. No, that one's still locked. That one's opening. So, my kids happened to rang. The boy rang and said, <laughs> as soon as I got out, the boy rang and went, have you found your keys yet? And I was like, bah, 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 bah. And he's like, well, it's kind of funny. And I said, well, why is that? And he goes, you got your ass through the hole. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I did. I'm a good girl. Come on, sweetie. I'll come and get you a bone. Come on. Let's go and stick a freaking kettle on. Oof. So I still haven't found my, <laughs> my freaking keys, though. I just haven't. Oh. So I haven't used it for four days. It's been on the lawn. Uh, I thought, oh, it's good that I'm looking for the keys now instead of like, you know, in four days' time when I really need it. Because the boy wanted to ride to the gym. Ugh. And I think my. <laughs> I think my lamb is actually cooked. <laughs> oh, I think it's actually cooked. Let's have a look. Well, my oven's filthy. God, I always have an oven cleaner. Oh, shit. It looks beautiful. Okay. Let's have a look, see if it's done. I, um, I got a, a present for Easter in, um, for the kids and went and got a joint for the kids for Easter because they love mum's homemade cooking. How's that? Hey, that's the first bit of meat that we've had for a long time, actually. Because I don't eat meat. I wonder if that's actually somebody visiting me. They could have come like half an hour ago. It's no good coming now, is it? No, it's still silent. It's really weird. Hence, warning: do not leave human in car. Please, I'm never going in the car ever again without my phone. Uh, oh yeah, that does look good, doesn't it? With my glasses. I suppose we should check and make sure that it, um... I think it's about $29 for that size, I think. I paid for it. So, can you see it? Sorry. 
Um, but it was a home kill. It wasn't from a shop. And I get treated once a year. Oh, that's just amazing. That is just beautiful. Try and go with the grain, eh? Yeah, looks like it's done. Yeah, I'll give that to the baby. <laughs> I can't believe after all that the meat ended up not being um, burned. So, I've washed my hands. I'm going to try and put on the kettle that's broken. We're having issues. Go away, go and bloody fly somewhere else. I can't believe I've got two nets up. Actually, one net, so I need to put the other net up for the flies. We're now into winter, but it's an amazing, beautiful day. Good. Well done. The thing on the kettle's broken. What do you reckon, kiddo? Huh? Do you want a piece of meat? Oh, look at that. Yeah, Mum. I like that. Okay, I'll, I'll see you later. Um, I guess this is today. <laughs> uh, don't know what tomorrow's going to bring, but um, I'll see you then. I'm glad um, I'm okay. I'm now shivering. I'm shaking. My lung really hurts, but I'm alright. Okay. I'm really pleased that you asked, but I'm okay. Alright? Okay, bye. Oh, good. You're back. That's good. I felt so bad about... Um, I felt so bad about... Uh, whacking the dog before I decided to go out and take her out for, for um, a nice little walk. Ended up at the dog park by the boxing ring. And it's nice. It's freezing, freezing cold. There's black clouds coming over. But that normally means that um, we'll get a frost out of it, which is good. No one's here now. Uh, there was only me and um, one of the heavyweight boxing girls here. And that was nice because everybody else left, which allowed us to be able to go and um, have a talk about everyone at the boxing world and what's happening and all that sort of stuff. So that was really nice. I really enjoyed myself. Ari has calmed down a lot. She's now doing what she's told. She's had a wee bit of a run. I think next time if she runs away, I'm going to get a, a wee cage or something so I can put her in that next, and that way I can punish her without touching her because I, I, I really feel like uh, So, nobody's text yet to say Sorry, I'm not driving on the road, that's why I'm looking at the phone. I cannot switch that friggin' noise off, man. It's doing my head in. Right, I'll go down the main street because I can't remember if I need anything or not at the minute. In the book Drinking. Oh, 20 minutes. So yeah, that was nice. I was, she was asked, like, she's done, um, she's doing, okay, start again. So, she owns McDonald's, one of the McDonald's, and, um, she sponsors the MMA, 
So I'm really privileged to be able to say hello to her and and see how she goes um, on her next fight. It's in Invercargill, but I'm seriously thinking about taking the boy down and going and watching her. Yeah, I'd imagine being a heavyweight of um, MMA. I know she's doing a 22k run, is it, or a 21k run? And um, she has to cut weight for that. That's hard work. That is so hard work. So, yeah, I was saying to her I wanted to do reception in the OFC, which is official fight club. because my boobs were sweaty. Seriously, do not leave humans in cars. Thank you. Beep beep. They should have a, an alarm, like if certain amount of kilograms is in the car, like a child or a dog or something, it sets off an alarm. Oh, I think it's hurting. Bloody stupid fire, bro. Yukinuki. Yukinuki. That's a weird name, isn't it? Yukinuki. Baba Bia. I'm going to see if they have any chockies. Some special. Okay, just wrap that car on her shell. Maybe it's because she's not in it properly, don't you? You. I'd feel sorry for anyone like, oh shoot, I've got the kids coming round. I was just going to say I'm going to feel sorry for anybody who like crosses me in the next few days, but they've caught on um, the windows not working. Okay, I'm going to say goodbye. Bye! <laughs> if you don't like me, I don't care. But if you do like me, I like you too. Okay, I'll see you guys. Bye! Look that way.